The best way to use a large language model locally on your CPU on Mac if you're powered by Apple Silicon is to use LM Studio. As of today, LM Studio is going to be powered by MLX. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step guide of how you can install LM Studio and also run your LLMs, large language models locally. If you're on M1, M2, M3, any of this family of models, which is Apple Silicon, then Apple has got a separate framework called MLX, which is exactly optimized for that particular class of chips. You can use LM Studio you and the back end is powered by MLX that means you're going to get a tremendous speed upgrade rather than just using the normal local LM setup for example using Olama or using Jan.ai as of today there is a press release I think 8 10 2024 they've announced that LM studio point 3.4 ships with Apple MLX. So if you're not familiar with Apple MLX, they've got a great community. They've got a lot of models. So MLX is uh, Apple's own array framework, just like you've got NumPy, just like you've got Jax, Apple has got its own thing, which is called uh, MLX. And because it is a uh, low level, like, you know, C, C++, C, uh, that level, it makes it really easier and highly performant. And that also means that there is a lot of active community, which uh, immediately ports models that are available in transformers hugging face format into MLX format. So because of this, any new model that you get most likely would get into the MLX world very soon in a couple of days. Now leveraging that LM studio has made it possible to use the MLX engine within LM studio. And it is not just for LLMs. It is also for VLMs vision language models. There's a lot of information here on the blog post how running text generation with MLX can be really, really fast. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to quickly go ahead and then start using M LM Studio. First, go to lmstudio.ai and you can just download it. So I'm going to click download LM Studio for Mac, save it. Once you save it, then you can install it. For the very first time when you use LM Studio, you might have to download certain models. So one of the important things that you have to keep in mind is you have to find MLX uh, supported models. So the way you can do that is you can go to Hugging Face and you can look for MLX community. So if you go to Hugging Face and look for MLX community, this is a place where you can find all the models that are supported by MLX. You can see that it is a quite a strong community with 700, 1700 members and you can see models getting updated every single day. So this is like updated like five hours ago, six hours ago, seven hours ago and all these things. Now our LM Studio is downloaded. Uh, I'm going to install it this weird thing that you have to do on Mac. So I'm going to add it to my applications and uh, let's go ahead so I can download it. Actually, we have downloaded. So it is being copied now. It's close to two gigs file. After this, I'm going to open LM studio and then see one another important library that is supporting or that is making this possible is uh, outlines. Outlines is a library that we have covered on this channel before long before for structured output generation. It's in the same family of uh, guardrails or um, instructor outlines is one library that can help you generate structured output, whether you want JSON, whether you want uh, integer. So this blog post uh, from LM studio dives deeper into how they made it possible for you to use uh, MLX through LM studio or powering LM studio with MLX. There are multiple information around structured output, KV caching, key value caching, which is very important for uh, the attention models to get faster and all the other information. So what we're going to do now is after we have installed, I'm going to open my spotlight and I'm going to load LM studio. So I'm loading LM studio for the very first time. I mean, I had it, I uninstalled it. I opened it for now. So I have opened it now. And uh, as you can see here, LM studio is open here. So we have got LM studio available here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a bunch of models here so I can go ahead and then start using the model and I can also load them all. So you have got a bunch of different options. One is a chat option. If you are a developer, you want to have an open AI compatible endpoint, you can do that. And then you can go here and then see what are all the models that are available and you can click discover and then start using the model. When you look for the model, you would see a couple of tags. One important tag right now is the MLX tag. So the MLX tag lets you understand that this is an MLX model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and then use this model. This is a 3 billion parameter model instruct model four bit model, but I'm going to just look for 3.2. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead with this model itself. Um, it's going to take uh, some time. And uh, as you can see here, uh, there are information about how you can use the model with MLX. I'm going to click download 1.8. Meanwhile, I'm going to also look for Quen if there is a Quen model available. I'm a big fan of Quen. 
So we've got a Quent 7 billion parameter model. I was looking for something smaller. So let's look for MLX models. Any other MLX models are available. So right now we see Quent 7 billion parameter model, 5.3 mini 4K and Strike 4 bit, Deep Seek Coder V2, uh, Mistral Nemo is something that I would love to try someday, and Cohere Command R. So we have got all these models available. The model is being downloaded. So meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can load existing models on other models that are available here. So as you can see, I've got a Quen um, instruct model, I load the model. This is basically how you load a model on uh, LM Studio. After you finish using the model, you can click eject and then it will um, send it out. Who are you? So it says, I'm a digital assistant. How can I help you? Write a Python code to create a bar chart with C bond. As you can see here, it's pretty fast. Uh, that is primarily because the model that I'm using right now is a 500 MB model. It's 0.5 billion parameter model. So the model is extremely smaller in size. And also now we have quantized this model. So there are some trade offs that you're going to have. But for the questions that you generic have like these kind of questions, typically these kind of models do well. So when you are going to use a local model, it's very important for you to understand what you're going to use it for. So that will help you decide what kind of models that you want to download. Now our current download is completed. So as you can see here, the download is being completed. You can load the model. So now I've loaded the model. And as you can see here, it is loaded from MLX. So you can see the model is uh, taking some time to load. There are some ad advanced configurations. You can go set it. Like for example, you can select the system prompt and other things. I'm going to leave it as it is now. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and then start with a very default question that they've given me. What is the capital of France? You saw the response. The response, it took 45 tokens per second. This is a 3 billion parameter model. And in less than a second, we got the first token. So let's go ahead and then ask some other question. Okay, I'm going to start a new chat. And I'm going to ask a question. Uh, I'm going to say, can you write a Python code um, for a bar chart with C bond? So last time we asked the same question with a 0.5 billion parameter model or a 500 MB model. Now I'm going to ask the same thing with a 3 billion parameter model. But in this case, this is Llama 3.2 and we are using it through MLX. So I'm going to ask the same question. And as you can see here, it is extremely fast. Rather than going to internet and then searching it on chat GPT for these kind of cliched questions, you can use it locally. And let's say you've got a privacy concern or you want to do role play, you can do that. So I can go here and I can just say, you are a really, really not naughty um, assistant. For anything I say, please respond back in um, a condescending condescending tone. I hope the censorships of the models um, let me do this thing. So we've got a bunch of information. If you want structured output, you can do it, which we'll see later on. Uh, okay, I've got this. Um, I just hit um, 1 million subs on YouTube. Would you congratulate me? A uh, whole million subscribers. How coin? Congratulations to you. I suppose there's a lot of people watching your mediocre content uh, still managing to find you entertain entertaining i'm sure it's a testament to your incredible talent and dedication sarcasm alert so we clogged 113 uh, tokens per second so if we were to let's say ask a similar question let's see how much time it's going to take so i'm going to go back to quen load the model so we have unloaded the mlx model so i'm going to send this message okay and uh, you can see here it said 221 tokens per second. So this model is a 500 billion parameter model. The other model is a 300 billion, uh, sorry, 3 billion parameter model. This is 500 million and that is 3 billion. So this model is kind of like um, six times smaller and that is hitting 200 tokens per second while six times bigger model is uh, half of the speed thanks to MLX in this particular case. I'm going to eject this model and load an MLX model, load the model. And I'm going to start a new chart while this is being loaded. And I'm going to explore the structured output. So I'm going to enable structured output. And you have to give a valid JSON schema. So I'm going to go to outlines just to find out an easier um, schema. So I'm going to take this schema here. Okay. So I'm going to literally copy the schema and then come. 
and um, go back to my LM studio paste it here I hope this is okay this is not a valid okay this isn't a valid schema because I kind of messed up there okay this is a valid JSON now it gave me it is a valid JSON I'm going to ask the same question that they have given in the example which is give me a character description so I'm going to go ahead and then say give me a character description I want to see how well it can do structured output so I said give me a character description and it gave me a character description I'm going to copy this and go to a JSON parser and I'm going to paste it and then see if it is going to work format JSON okay so we have got a structured JSON output thanks to the outlines library which is now also being integrated with LM studio so you can one load any model like even visual language model two you can use MLX and then generate a really fast output three you can also get structured output generation and fourth one you can also now go here and then start a server that means you can use this model the MLX powered model that you have got uh, as an API endpoint. So we have got an API endpoint. So we have got uh, models that you can get. We've got completions that you can post and you have got a bunch of other things. So now if you were to build, let's say a local LLM based application without open AI, just want to try, then you can use this model. So what you can do here is you can copy the curl and you can go to your terminal and open a new terminal come back here, paste the curl. So you've got all the information. So you've got um, always answer in rhymes. What day is it today? Uh, the Llama 3 billion parameter model and send this. And as you can see here, it got the output. It started generating the output and it is giving you the output. It's a Thursday, don't stray away, all the things. So there are a lot of useful information if you happen to use this software, uh, thanks to it being powered by MLX. The only catch here is that this is not a completely open library, unlike Olama. So I've been a big advocate of Olama for the same reason, but if you prioritize speed, I think this is an excellent solution, especially if you're an Apple Silicon ecosystem. Now this is going to enable a lot of potential. Uh, for example, at some point you should be able to use uh, this, for example, this link, the localhost link, and you can uh, use it within your home network. If you're on the same subnet or you can use ngrok and then send it to the applications that you build. I think there are a lot of potential that are available here. So quickly summarizing, uh, we have got the latest version of LM Studio, which is LM Studio 0 0.3.4. It ships with support to Apple MLX, which is an Apple Silicon specific or highly optimized array library, just like NumPy and Jax. Now, because this is uh, what is going to power the MLX models on LM Studio, uh, which means if you have got Apple Silicon Mission M1, M2, M3, M4 from the Russian YouTuber, then you can probably run this at a much higher pace speed than the existing models that you can run that leverages GPU layers. This is an excellent information. It also supports the server. It also supports structured output generation. So I would strongly encourage you to try it out and let me know what you think if you're on Mac ecosystem. If you're on other ecosystem, you can still use LM Studio with all the features that you said, uh, that I said in this video. The only thing is it's not going to be supported by MLX. If you have Nvidia GPU, if you don't have a GPU, it should still work, but it may not be as fast as what I showed on this particular video. Thanks for watching this video. See you in another video. Happy prompting.